everyone, and welcome back to the Raw Jar Reviews channel. And today we're taking a look at the Stars of Black series, General Harrison Dula from the Ahsoka line. Look at the front of the box, you get this uh, figure and the accessory that is included. You also get the name of the line the character is from and their name down here. And on the side of the box, you get this amazing artwork of Harrison Dula. And like I mentioned before, By adding more figures to the same line, you can create a mural. So here's Hera alongside uh, Professor Huang. And in the back of the box, you get a description of the character, a bigger portrait of the character as well, um, the number which it follows is the line, and much little warnings. Here's the side of the box, the bottom, and the top. But I'll go ahead and take out the plastic, and we see what's inside. Here she is, on her plastic. And here she is on the box. And look her up close, she looks so cool. I love the overall look of the figure. It captures everything we've seen of her appearance in the live action version. And like I always do, I'll go ahead and start from top to bottom. Look at her head, it looks very nice. And of course you can see the photo tech captures the actress very nicely in this figure. Um, I like how there's printing in the eyes, as you can see. She does have, like, some mascara. Um, there is printing in the eyebrows and the lips right here. I also like the, like, aviator cap that she has right here, uh, with the goggles, of course. Do these actually go down? Oh, man, that'd be so cool if they actually did go down. They are a bit loose, so I was figuring out they would. But, again, uh, the cap looks very cool. Has like this leathery sort of like texture to it. And it fits her Leku very nicely here in the back. And as far as articulation, she does have a joint here at the neck as well as the top of the head. So you get quite a bit of movement here side to side, all the way up and down. Looking at the torso, I love this look on her. She has like this really cool like aviator bomber jacket. And it comes in this like leather texture as well. Uh, and there's just so much to look at. She has like this Sherpa collar up here. Um, she has a bunch of patches right here, right on both of her uh, shoulders. This one being the original uh, Rebels logo that's being made up. And then she has this logo right here in the back of her jacket. And then she also has like this brown undershirt as well. And she does have a ball joint here. Um, it's a little bit stiff. So maybe you just need to like work with it a bit, but it sort of goes side to side a little bit and that's all the way back and forward. Look at the arms. The arm sticks out about there. It goes all the way around as you can see and she does have a butterfly joint, which is nice to know. Gives you a bit more movement. Um, her elbow goes up about there. She has a swivel here at the elbow and then she does have movement here at the wrist and at the hand. The other side as well, arm sticks out about there, goes all the way around. Again, she does have the butterfly joint. Uh, elbow goes up about there, has a swivel, and she does have movement in the wrist and at the hand. Look at the waist. She, of course, has this uh, really cool, like, belt and this, like, uh, holster for her pistol right here. But looking at the belt again, she does have, like, these brown straps. There is a silver bell buckle right here. Um, no pouches around the waist, but again, she does have the hip uh, sort of like holster right here and it has a strap around her thigh. And look at the legs. She has these really cool like orange pants that we've always seen her with. Um, these ones are more, you know, fit for the live action version, of course. Um, but they do go around her waist all the way down and has some really nice detail uh, especially like in the pockets and right here at the knee but going over the legs she does go into a split position as you can see <laughs> she does go into a sitting position as you can see right there and the legs go back about there and look at the knees the knees do go back all the way right here into a kneeling position and then something i've never seen as far as me reviewing for this long um, this is something new to me. She does not have any swivel, in case you guys were wondering why I passed over that. I just want to confirm. 
she does not have any swivel uh, around the thighs. But, you know, it does move around pretty uh, nicely. But, yeah, pretty interesting, uh, you know, feature right there. No swivel around her thigh. And finally, looking at the boots, she has these black boots. And the feet point down about there. They point all the way up. And she does have rock wrinkles. So there's some cool action poses. And look at the accessory. She goes with a blaster pistol. Look at the pistol. It looks very nice. And again, this is a modern version of her pistol that we've seen in the Rebels cartoon. Um, it has like this copper color right here near the barrel. And the silver going throughout it. Or this gunmetal gray. So equip the blaster. Just like everything else. You slide in the grip. Turns the trigger finger just like that. And you're good to go. Or if you're not going to use the pistol, you can easily slide it right here inside of the holster. Make sure it's down pretty firmly. Then you want to uh, attach the strap on the grip. It's very snug and won't come off. So as an overview of the figure. Honestly, I'm super impressed. Like, the amount of articulation, detail, and everything that went into this figure alone. I gotta say, it might even be... One of my favorite uh, figures through this lineup again. They just keep on making this lineup better and better. I think the one that I said was like the best was like Sabine. This one comes very close. Hera as, you know, a figure. It is totally awesome to, you know, finally have her in the live action version. And if you're a big fan of her appearance in that show, then you got to get her. And then real quick before I uh, go on to the next section... I did want to show you guys um, the animated version of herself from the Rebels line right here. Uh, we have reviewed her on the channel, and she was pretty good. Uh, I would have to say that, you know, for it being an animated character being brought into what it would be, they did pretty good, you know, so far. And seeing now the live-action version makes it even better. And something to do at the end of these reviews... It show you guys how this one figures, having the box in the back, and the figure in the front. But I'm going to leave it here and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content that you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.